Hi, I'm Arlen Walker and I'm live from Pelham's Wasteland and today I have got another episode of RPG A Day 2021 for you guys. Today's word, or yesterday's word actually, is theme because I'm still catching up. Um, and theme is a really interesting one. Um, honestly, we could sit here and talk for hours about themes in narratives in general and in RPGs in particular. I'm going to try not to do that, um, so hopefully this video will not be hours and hours long. Um, but it seems to me that theme is sort of the... Holy Grail is not the right term, but the sort of highest order of... Um, narrative creation in a sense that you have you know plot and characters and tone and all that sort of stuff and all of that feeds into the sort of thematic elements of a story and that so theme is really kind of you know almost what we're what we're trying to create with our our narrative um if we are interested in the the narrative in particular and not just in sort of the fun that we're having at the table with our friends and all of that sort of stuff um, so with that being said, I think the thing is, theme is really, really kind of an interesting one. Um, when writing, like, you know, creative writing, um, one of the things about theme is that it's sort of very difficult to create, um, but also sort of impossible not to create, if that makes sense. It's very, very difficult, right? We can agree, I think, in general, that some of the best literature is the best literature, probably because it is um, the the most excellent with regard to the thematic elements, both kind of the best themes and the, um, the best realized versions of those themes, things like that, that um, there are powerful moments that make us think about all sorts of things like the human condition and, and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and so it is, it is sort of difficult to, well, it's, it's very difficult to do, to create, but it's also almost impossible to not have anything thematic, right? If you dig down deep enough, almost every story has some thematic um, interest, even if it's not as deep as some of those, you know, great uh, narratives that we are um, most familiar with in terms of the, the sort of highest echelon of theme. And I think theme in RPGs is... Um, interesting because we have a mechanical component to it too right that to me what makes for a really good theme in rpgs is not just um discussion of some idea or something like that but the way that the mechanics can interact with the um ideas with the sort of thematic components and all that sort of stuff so for instance i've been playing a lot of the one ring recently so i'm thinking about that but the shadow and the way that the shadow interacts with the characters i think is really deeply thematic it feels really good it um really feels like what i think um tolkien is is getting at in his stories in a lot of ways with regard to the shadow and this this sort of combination of the shadow both as kind of like um something external and something internal that the shadow is both kind of the enemy that's out there but it's also this sort of internal thing that it's your the way that your victories turn into failures the way that what makes you a um heroic person turns into something that um something negative from something positive the way that trauma particularly um suffering creates suffering and it causes sufferers to become creators of suffering and all that sort of stuff and it's it's really well done i think in the one ring so that's um i think a great example of how theme can be gotten to with mechanics but there's other other examples of this too right so like a an osr game with um full random rolled uh, encounters does a really good job of creating a sort of thematic uh, space for like an uncaring world, right? The idea that this is a sort of world where things just sort of happen 
that are not necessarily connected to uh, narrative convenience or to heroics or anything like that. This, you know, uncaring, um, difficult world is something that I think, you know, those sorts of games do really well in terms of uh, thematic space. Um, and yeah, so there's a lot of there's a lot of different, and I think most games, you know, some games feel more heroic. Some games. So I've also talked I've talked a fair bit about the Conan 2D20 game, but I'll mention it again that the momentum system is a great way to reinforce um, camaraderie and the the idea of the heroes working together as a sort of thematic element. That you know every success that the heroes get individually becomes a success for the group, and those group success make it easier for the heroes to get individual successes. That's something that is basically spelled out in the mechanics of Conan 2D20, which is a really interesting kind of thematic um, thematic push, I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, and there's lots of others. There's so many. Uh, arguably, I would say every game has something thematic in its storytelling, but different different games will have different ways that they approach that sort of thing and different ways that the mechanics um, create theme. And I think this also ties into um, some of the ideas like ludonarrative dissident, dissonance that um, that is often, to me, tied to... Um, these thematic elements that you have, you know, you have a, a mechanic that is saying one thing and a narrative that is saying something else, and that creates a really, uh, that's sort of where you get this dissonance that you have two competing themes that are um, sometimes uh, even mutually exclusive in some ways, right? You know, you can't really have an uncaring world where the heroes are heroes and the world respects that, right? Those are two fundamentally different things. And so if you try to tell that sort of story, I think you will end up with in a, a game that is, you know, mechanically and procedurally built for the uncaring world thing, I think you will end up with um, trouble. So anyway, the theme is really interesting and I will probably do another video on theme at some point as a sort of wrap up to this whole series. But um, to me, this is sort of the the apex of the um, RPG a day discussion is talking about theme and um, what we can do to bring out the themes that we want in our RPGs because that's something that's really important to me. So anyway... All right, that is going to be that for today, um, or rather that's going to be that for this video. I'm hoping to put out uh, episode 20, Foundation, today also, and, um, and yeah, I will see you then, assuming that I do that. So I've been Arlen Walker, I've been live from Pelham's Wasteland, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.